Hi, this is Brian at Sonora Fly Company. Uh, we just wanted to do a quick tutorial on a fly that we're going to tie this coming Thursday in our uh, introduction to fly tying class. Uh, it's a classic, it's an easy fly to tie. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So in the vise, we have a Firehole Sticks 516 jig hook, uh, number 12. And we're gonna use a three and a half millimeter copper slotted tungsten bead. Uh, for thread, what I'm going to use is some Vivas 10 Ot and fluorescent orange, and we'll go ahead and just lay a thread base down. For a tail, we are going to use Bard and Speckled Coque de Leon, and what I like to do is strip off the under fibers until I get to the good stuff, and I'm only going to want about maybe four fibers here. That looks good. So you strip those off together, keep them pinched in your right hand. You're gonna lay those across the top of the shank of the hook. With your left hand, your index finger and your thumb, just go ahead and pinch that in place. Now what I'm gonna do here is called a pinch wrap. And you loosely bring your thread up from the backside and put it in between your index finger and your thumb. Come back around the hook and you don't apply pressure until you're pulling back up. That will lock those fibers right on top of that hook shank. You can go ahead and capture the rest of them. Bring that thread forward again. Clip off the excess. And one thing to bear in mind here, you want a nice short tail. You don't want that tail to be too long. So better to be a little bit too short than a little bit too long on that, I think. So uh, next what we're gonna use is some brassy sized copper wire and we'll lay that in on top of the shank tie it in and as I work it back I'm going to bring that copper wire on my side of the hook shank as I'm tying that thread back you'll see why here in a little bit next the body material is going to be just ring neck pheasant tail um, center tails natural color these are nature spirits. And same thing, you're gonna to wanna to peel back about, I don't know, five or six fibers here and just pull those right off the, uh, the spine of the feather. These I'll usually line up and I'll clip the tips. These tips are super delicate. I'll lay those in on top of the hook shank, tie them in. You're gonna kinda of roll those towards the front side of the, uh, the hook shank. And go ahead and build this body. You want to build a nice taper as you work that thread forward. And here I'm going to twist these fibers together just to give them a little bit more strength. And I'm going to wrap these the opposite way, I'm sorry, the same way as you are wrapping your thread. So looking at the front of the hook, it's going to be clockwise moving forward. And what I like to do is use my right hand to spin them around and just hold them in place with my left hand as I move them forward. And I want to leave a little bit of space here. I don't want to crowd that head just yet. So go ahead and put a couple loose wraps up there. Capture that material. Clip out the excess. At this point, we're going to take that copper ribbing and we're going to wind that the opposite way. And this is why you laid that on your side of the hook shank. You're, you're going to wind it the opposite way that you are winding your thread. In that body. Nice even turns. Get to the front, go ahead and capture that. Actually put a couple more good hard turns on that and then I'll, I'll keep some pressure here on my thread and I'll helicopter that wire off. Gives you a really nice clean break there. A couple more turns and the final step here is putting the collar on. Use a little bit of wax. And one thing to keep in mind here, we're gonna use ice stub, UV shrimp pink. This is a staple in every tire's box. You can use this, this material for a lot of different flies. Less is more here. So just to use a little tiny bit here. It's really easy to get this overdubbed. That looks pretty good right there. 
keep that nice and tight up against the uh, the bead there. And then once you get that on, I like to make about three or four or five more turns with that orange thread. We're going to create one more little orange hot spot in front of that collar. So at this point, I'll just take some brushable Loctite. Just put a little bit on that, that thread. Four more turns maybe, and then a three turn whip finish on top of that. Go ahead and clip off the excess and that fly is ready to fish. It's a staple, it works in all of our rivers. It's an easy fly to tie, so we highly recommend it. Look forward to seeing you guys on Thursday, and we'll uh, try to crank these videos, videos out every week. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.